Hi, welcome to Carolyn Braden's Turning the Ordinary into the Extraordinary. Today I'm going to teach you how to make this perler beaded headband. Making things out of perler beads takes me back to my childhood. I loved making all kinds of crafts with these really colorful little beads. For this project, I invented a cherry blossom to go in the center of a really cool bowed headband. It's a mixture of a fascinator and a cute headband, good for you or for your kids, or even your grandchildren. You can use the colors I suggest in this video, or you can come up with some of your own. Here are the items you need for your project. For this project, you will need some perler beads. I bought this kit that has rainbows and unicorn colors in it. The beads are plastic and look like this. I purchased this kit on Amazon. My kit also came with templates. You will need templates for this project. I'm going to be using a square pegboard template. You'll need a headband. Mine is about a one to one and a half inch satin covered headband. Some wide ribbon. I'm choosing a very stiff fabric type of a ribbon called cinema. If you don't have cinema, then choose maybe a wire edged ribbon. This is about two inches in width. I'm using these perler tweezers to help me with my design. The kit I purchased also came with ironing paper and you will need some of that. You'll need an iron, you'll need a hot glue gun, and you'll need an old towel or rag to protect your surface during the ironing process. Now that I have my color palette selected, I've kind of mixed them together to see how they look all together. And I really like them. So now I'm gonna transfer this onto my pegboard. I've determined that the middle of my pegboard is seven pegs in from each side. I'm gonna start off by putting beads in the four pegs in the center. I'm gonna start with the apricot color. So that is the apricot color in the center. We've got four beads. Now I'm going to surround it with some nude color beads. So it's a little baby flower right in the center. Now I'm going to surround that with another color. I think I'll go with white. So our flower is growing. Now I'm going to surround these white beads with I think the peach color again. Now this is our flower so far. You could just leave it like this because this is a lovely design or you could add more. I'm going to add some baby pink around this apricot color. These tweezers come in handy when you've got some that just don't wanna go into place. Here's my flower so far. Again, I could leave it like this because this is lovely, or I can add some more. And I think I'm going to create an outline in white around this cherry blossom. So now I have my flower completely put onto the pegboard. Now it's time to iron it together. I love just plain shaped pegboards because you can come up with some of your own designs. This started off as a triangle and then I've kind of morphed it into a flower. You could also use other pegboards like mine came with a mermaid and this cute little unicorn which would also be really cute on the headband as well. You can either come up with some of your own or use some of the templates. To fuse your beads together, lay your project onto a heat safe surface. I put down an old towel to protect my tablecloth. Then I put the project and now I'm going to place the ironing paper on top of the project very gently so I don't move any of the beads around. I've heated my iron to a medium heat setting and according to the directions it says to smooth your iron over the project for about 10 to 20 seconds. Basically, you're melting the beads together a little bit to make them stick together. I can see the beads melting together, so now I'm gonna go to this side and melt these a little bit more. 
So now it looks like all my beads are melted together. I'm gonna just peel this ironing paper off slightly. Ooh, how cool is that? It looks very Minecrafty. I'm gonna let this cool for a few moments and peel it off of the pegboard. So once it cools completely, then you can peel it off and mine just came off instantly. Now, the directions say that you are supposed to also iron this side together. I am not going to do that because I like seeing these beads kind of separated by their original shape. You can see one side, they're all nice and melty together and you can leave it like that. You can use that side if you want, but I like this side better. Because I'm gonna use this on a headband, I'm not as concerned with it being super, super durable. If this is going to be a keychain or something, I might slightly iron this side as well. Because I want this to be dimensional, because right now it's just really flat, I'm going to make another cherry blossom to put right here on the center with some hot glue. So let's see how that's done. Using the same colors I did on this flower, I'm going to just make a smaller version of this flower. So let's set out the same colors, the apricot, and then surround it with the nude. And then I'm going to surround it with the white. So this is going to be the center of the flower and I'm going to go ahead and fuse this together as well. Let's let this cool. So I let the little one cool and popped it off of the pegboard and set it on top of here. This will make it a little bit more three-dimensional. Now I wanna do one more little section in the center made up of these apricot beads to pop it up even more. Now I have my three parts of my flower all completed. I've decided to add some E6000 glue into this part of this project because I was not positive that hot glue would keep these pieces together. Something about the hot glue, melting the beads, I just, I didn't think it would work. So E6000 is a great alternative. All I'm going to do is glue this piece here and this piece here, and that will give this flower some dimension. So here's the flower from the front, and you can see from the side, it definitely pops up a little. Now it's time to let this dry for just a little while, and while it dries, I'm going to go ahead and make the headband. To make the bowed headband, I'm just going to take my stiff ribbon, which I'm actually using stiff cinema in the color ivory, and I'm just going to make a simple bow. This piece that I have cut is about 12 to 14 inches in length. If you want a larger bow, then choose a longer piece. I'm just going to start off by testing it out by coming to about the center and see how that looks, and I like that. So once I have it where I want it, I'm just going to take my hot glue gun. I'm gonna keep my thumb here because I know that's where I wanna put my hot glue. Put a little hot glue right there. Be really, really careful. And set that down and allow that to dry for a few minutes. Now that this side is dry, I'm going to put some hot glue right there along the seam and fold in this side to finish off the bow. Let's let that dry for a few minutes. Now I need to find a good place on my headband to put the bow and I like it right about here. So I'm gonna place some hot glue on the headband in that place and carefully place the bow on top of that and allow that to dry. So the bow is attached to the headband now, but to make sure that this stays on a little bit better, I found some white stiff felt that I had left over from another project and I cut a little square. So now I recommend that you cut a little square of felt yourself and place it over the headband area just to make that bow stay on a little bit more securely. To secure it, just place a little bit of hot glue on your headband and then place the felt over the hot glue and just hold on to it until it dries. 
Now it's time to get the flower onto the bow. To do this, I recommend placing some of the E6000 glue wherever you want to put the flower. Put a decent amount, but not too much so that it oozes out your flower. Now decide the way you want to position it on your bow. I'm gonna just do mine like that. I like that. And then either hold it on there if it looks like it's popping up a little bit. I recommend finding a clamp. You can get these clamps at hardware stores and just clamp your perler project to your headband and then allow it to sit for several hours until it's completely dry. The project is now done! I let the glue sit overnight and it's on there really, really nice and tightly now. Putting that clamp on definitely helped it stay secure to the bow. Remember, you could try hot glue to get the perler project connected to the headband, but I'm still not sure it would last for very long. So E6000 was definitely the best way to go for me. The possibilities with this project, among many projects that I make, are completely endless. So do something that you like best. Make one with a rainbow or a unicorn or a mermaid or just something that you like best. This really turned out cute. I really like this. If you have any questions or comments, just leave it in the comment section below. If you create this, let me know in the comment section below as well. I love to hear when people were inspired by the projects that I've made. If you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, do so now. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. If you don't want to make the headband, here's a way to make a cute little cactus magnet. For this part of the project, I'm using the same square pegboard, some magnetic buttons, E6000 glue, and some beads in the colors of a light green, dark green, and a pink. Here's how to put together the cactus. I'm going to start off with putting my pink perler beads at the top. Now we're going to fill in around the pink, which is the cactus flower, with some of the light green. Every once in a while we're going to stick a dark green in there. I made a little mistake, so now I am going to use the tweezers to kind of move those beads around. The magnetic buttons that I have are already adhesive, so you can just pull off the back and stick it on and be ready to go, but I want mine to last a little bit longer, so I'm going to put a little bit of E6000 glue on the back of the magnet, put it where I want it on the cactus, and now I'm gonna let it dry overnight. This is so cute, my refrigerator will love this. Visit carolynsbloomingcreations.com